What's up everybody? Today we'll be building a drip irrigation ring for our DWC hydroponic buckets. The process is super simple. You only need a few parts and it only takes a couple of minutes. Lock in. Recently, there's been a surge in popularity for these drip style DWC buckets, and that's for good reason. They're really simple and super effective, but these drip irrigation kits are really hard to find online, and when you do find them in stock, you'll deal with back orders and higher costs. Let's cut out the middleman. It's so simple, you can build it yourself with a few cheap parts. And let's talk about those parts. First, you'll need half inch outer diameter tubing for the ring and quarter inch tubing for the air pump. For this build, I'm using half inch push connect tees. You can use regular tee fittings, but I like these for the professional touch. Half inch to quarter inch push connect reducers. It lets you connect the half inch tubing to the air pump. Quarter inch shutoff valves. These will allow me to control the drip rate. You'll need a net pot to hold the drip ring and an air pump to power the system. We're gonna need some tools, but these aren't essential. You just need something for measuring and cutting, but they will make things much easier. And it's better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them. But basically, those are all the parts and tools that I'll need for this build. So let's get this thing cracking. <laughs> Now that you got the parts, let's build this thing. I'm gonna start by measuring two pieces of half inch tubing. One piece will be 18 inches, the other is 12 inches. Hit it with the heat gun to make it nice and straight. Connect the 12 inch tube to the top side of the T. And I'll need a four inch piece of tubing. This will connect to the horizontal side of the T. And then I'll connect the other end of the four inch tubing to the reducer. And then that piece is done. Now I need another T. I'll connect the 18 inch tubing to one side of the T, then connect it to the other side of the T to make a ring. Then I'll hit it with the heat gun to mold the shape and then punch a few holes using my scissors. And just a tip, all the holes should be the same size and roughly the same diameter. If not, then you'll have uneven water flow. Next, I'm gonna drill a hole in the bottom of the net pot. Run the tube through the hole and then connect the ring to the tube. And then our drip ring is done. Now, we're gonna test it by filling this bucket with a few gallons of water and then install our new drip ring. I'll run the line that connects to the air pump and then install the shutoff valve and connect to the air pump. Now it's time to crank it up and watch the magic happen. The shutoff valve lets us control the drip rate, which is crucial so we don't end up drowning those young plants. To take it a step further, I drilled some holes in the lid. and ran my tubing through the lid. This is gonna make it so much easier to move the lid around without having to disconnect the entire system. Thanks for watching. Drop a like and subscribe for more DIYs just like this.